Where's Daddy going? Potomac River. So I'm gonna catch all of them? Just five a day, okay. Five big ones. All right. I love y'all. Love you, Daddy. Bye. Bye-bye. We are back on the road for stop number five. We're headed to La Plata, Maryland, Potomac River. I can't wait. I've never fished a tidal fishery. I've never fished that far east. I love going to new places. I love fishing rivers. I love fishing grass, so hopefully there's plenty of that there. Word on the street is there is, so. Got off work at 7 p.m. It's 8 p.m. We're gonna try to cut a little bit of the drive off, try to make it to about Knoxville and catch me a nap back here in the back of the Ford and finish the drive tomorrow. Uh, try not to have to put too much pressure on myself to rush to get there, but uh, roommate Scott Towery's already in Virginia visiting with some friends, so we will get checked in to the Hampton Inn tomorrow night, get ready to go catch a fish. Y'all follow along, this is gonna be a fun week. Making good progress. Made it past Knoxville. Pulled over the rest area, got me a couple hour nap in the back seat. And we're getting close to leaving Tennessee and it looks like we got seven hours left on the drive at 6.30 in the morning. So take it nice and easy and ease on in to Maryland. Smoky Mountains. Looks like our very first sighting of the Potomac. Looks kind of milky. Uh, let's see. Definitely got some color out on the river. Kind of reminds me of fish in Memphis. So Scott and I just went to the grocery store and a lot of people are going to say I'm just a dumb redneck and that's the way it is everywhere, but I've never experienced anything like that. I don't think you have either, have you? Not well, like this. No. First off, I walk up to get a shopping cart. I'm like, man, this thing won't come loose. And then some lady walks up and she's kind of like, excuse me, puts a quarter in the shopping cart. You have to rent the shopping cart for, uh, with a quarter. Can't go out this way. Um, and then we we get a cart full of stuff and pay for it and i see these people off to the side bagging their groceries and then we realize that you have to pay seven cents for a bag for a for a paper bag to bag your groceries so we got a bunch of <laughs> loose groceries in the back <laughs> well day one practice has begun put in at smallwood state park where we're launching from in Mattawoman creek uh, ran down to Chickamuxin, caught a little two pound fish and some grass. And I couldn't show you because there's a bunch of boats. Looks like a community hole, obviously, but um, didn't take long to get the first bite, swim jig, grass. So looks like there's gonna be a lot of that. Well, it is noon. The first day of practice I've caught seven or eight fish a couple of two pounders i finally caught a good one a four pounder on a frog on a seawall uh the tide is it's crested i don't i don't know the right terminology for tides but it has peaked and it's falling now but it's a high tide and um, maybe you know it looks like fish pushed up against a hard uh, wall so it's one thing and i'm going to run that a little bit more while we still got some high tide see if i can get another good bite but uh, so far really hadn't dialed anything in but it's good to catch a good one finally plenty of catfish at the potomac big old blue cat eating a chatterbait that's gonna do it for day one of practice had fun caught uh, i don't know 15 fish maybe uh definitely i'm gonna have to find more quality i had that one four pounder on a frog and I had one that was maybe two and three quarter pounds and the rest of them are just small. So in order to get into that 14, 15 pound range, I've got to find better quality, more than two and a half, two and three quarter pounders. But um, I like the head start, you know, it was fun fishing grass. We'll do it again tomorrow. Cover a lot of water. Practice day two, man, it was hard to wake up 16 hour day on the water. And I think I got four hours of sleep, went to bed 11. A little after 11 got up at 3 30 so i'm exhausted my body was like nope just roll over go back to bed but 
uh, some kind of way I mustered up the energy to at least make it out here. And I'm gonna put in another 16 hours a day and see what we can figure out. Um, just gotta try some different stuff. Try, I, I think if I can find some sea walls with some deep water on them, I can run the frog deal. So I need to look for more of that. Try to find some deep grass with some fish in it. Keep plugging. All right, I found some beautiful deep grass. First cast with a clone Ringo. I threw a Carolina rig in there. No bites, first cast with a clone Ringo. It didn't even hit the bottom. Practice update. It's midday, day two, and things are much better today. As far as quality, I hadn't caught nearly as many fish. I think I just caught number four and five, I think. And number four was a three and a half pounder, and number five was just a good keeper. They ate a swim jig, main lake grass, but uh, better quality today. I don't know if it's because I've done anything different, really. I think it might just be uh, me kind of finally dialing in with the fishery. I hope that's what it is, and I hope it gets better on Thursday. So good day off. Had a good nap. Got all the tackle rigged. We had an awesome uh, anglers, Christian anglers meeting. And uh, Ty Al actually dedicated himself to Jesus. So that was pretty cool. He got baptized on the ramp at the Potomac. Um, good stuff right there. It was really touching. So it actually compelled me to say the prayer tomorrow morning before the day one takeoff. I've been uh, thinking about doing that and just been timid, but that right there compelled me to do that. So I'm looking forward to that. Ready to go catch some fish tomorrow. All right, day one, fifth stop, Major League Fishing Pro Circuit at the Potomac River. It's been an awesome morning to start out with. I mustered up the courage to say the morning prayer. I uh, got to pray for all the anglers this morning, so that was awesome. It's a beautiful morning. Got some wind, some sun. I really think the fish are going to bite. I'm looking forward to what the day holds. Let's get after it. Hook number 22. All right.
Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Yes! Pulling some good ones, baby.
four ounces on day one. Jimmy Washington's name. He's had a pretty solid season, man. Already won a tournament this year. That always helps, man. Promise. 14 pounds, four ounces yesterday for Jimmy. Right now, to get in the cut, you only need 11 pounds, 13 ounces. He's going fishing, I got a feeling. How about 14 pounds, 13 ounces? Jimmy washing all the way to 18. See you tomorrow. Heard that. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, thank you. There's where all my weight went. That sucker's got to weigh six ounces. All right, day three on the Potomac. We're going in today in 21st place. We're about a pound and a half out of the top 10. So I feel like a good day today with just one kicker bite, which I hadn't had all week. Uh, one four plus pound fish and some good quality. Get us up in that uh, close to 16 pound mark and I think we'll be all right and get to fish tomorrow. So we're gonna have fun today, try as hard as we can and every fish counts, every fish is dollar signs today. So got my Marshal Jason Sherwood from the north of DC area. He's uh, gonna ride along with me and hopefully we're gonna have fun and enjoy the day. Pull number 21, all right. Get that big regularly here? Cause that's a hammer. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't catch many crappie here. Trash can here. <laughs> Alright, I mean barely hooked. in my head just kept saying, are oh, you jerk baiting there? That one was for the GoPro. That was a little fish. Thank you, Lord. That could have went sideways right then. He's 
bigger than I thought he was. Not a bad fish. Only time I've ever caught them in front of the camera boat was at Harris Chain last year and right now. Well, he doesn't help, but <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Time they go to me on live, yeah. I'd be hooked up. He'd be like, "All right, you're live," and I'd be like, "All right, here we go." disappointment <laughs> thought for a moment it was a bass Grass catfish. yeah the only thing worse than a catfish is a catfish covered in grass use it as a shield over his eyes <laughs> gotta love it at least he didn't get to roll and slime my line up Not a swung that fish. <laughs> it's like, oh wow, that yeah, one will help. Yeah, that one's 100% gonna help. Shoot, that's one of my better ones. Dad, get him swinging me and hook outside the face. I'm gonna have my butt kicked. See you, man. 
That's a fat one. Mm -hmm. I see a crawfish in my life. Speed ups in there? Yep. Oh man, that was a good splash. Yeah, there's a couple ounces. See why they're eating that jig? Yeah, I got a little bit of rim. Or why they were eating that jig. Mm -hmm. <laughs> From my point of view, 12 ounces, 4 ounces. Good job, Ron. Green angler of the year is in 8th place. Jimmy Washam can see you. No sophomore slump for Jimmy Washam, man. Had a good year last year. His rookie year. His second year and already making a, another cut. From coming to Tennessee, Jimmy Washam had 14-4 on day one. 14-13 yesterday. Five more today. They go 12 pounds, six ounces, Jimmy. Got you in 13th place. Good week for you. I'll tell you what, I'm very thankful. You know, this is my first experience on a tidal fishery. I didn't, I didn't know if it would freak me out, and basically I just found fish and stuck with them, and, and there's definitely a uniqueness to fishing a tidal fishery. I saw some bite windows that would open and close, and uh, maybe next time I'll figure out how to actually run that. But caught my fish on a swim jig and a finesse worm the first two days. They were good fish really eating that swim jig. Uh, today, I think just a lot of pressure on my place kind of overwhelmed them, and I ended up having to pull a jerk bait out and, and uh, get the fish to bite. But over, all in all, a good week, good points. So uh, I needed this one now. St. Lawrence will be a new one for me, but we'll go up there and have fun, see where we end up. Yeah, you usually end up pretty well, man. One of the best to do it today, man. One of the best young